Okay, what is this right here? The pelvis. It's the only bone in the body that's gender specific, which means it's different in boys and girls. Is it? Yes. The pelvis is job to protect the organs used for digesting and reproduction, which means growing babies. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to another episode. I am Sandra and today we're going to be asking a very, very important question, which is, are more and more celebrities raising their kids in the opposite sex? In other words, transgender children. Is it a trend? All right. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know who Charlie's Theron is. She's a very, very popular South African American actress. She has won an Academy Award for her role in the movie Monster. Time Magazine actually named her the world's 100 most influential people. She grew up on a farm in South Africa. Um, she immigrated to um, America, I think, when she was 16 after the death of her father. The father was killed by her mom because the dad tried to kill her mom and herself. And so the mom, in self defense, shot at the dad. She didn't go to jail for it because it was ruled as self-defense. Charlize has actually come out to say how grateful she is to her mom for saving her life. Um, she shared that it's always been a, a goal of hers to have children. She actually shared this with People Mag Magazine. She said that she was massively inspired by her own upbringing in South Africa, which exposed her to orphanages and children in need in the community um, at a young age. She then went on to adopt her first son Jackson in 2012 um, and her second son August in 2015. She told Daily Mail in 2019 that Jackson is transgender. Um, here's what she had to say. She said, yes, I thought she, I, Jackson, was a boy too until she looked at me when she was three years old and said, I am not a boy. So a three-year-old tells his mom out of the blue that he's not a boy. I don't know if you guys know of another two, three-year-old young boy, the name of Jazz Jennings. I remember watching clips of he's and his family's um, TLC reality TV show. And the story is very similar. It was this kid about two, three years old telling his mom that he was a girl and the parents started to treat him as a girl starting by you know buying him girl clothes and and that's how it kind of started um so this story just reading this it just it reminded me obviously of jazz jennings she continues she said they were born who they are and exactly where in the world both of them get to find themselves as they grow up and who they want to be is not for me to decide my job as a parent is to celebrate them and to love them and to make sure that they have everything they need in, in order to be what they want to be and i will do everything in my power for my kids to have that right and to be protected within that right Yes, there is a lot to unpack here, okay? It's so common nowadays, you hear this particular line, it's almost like I'm from a Hollywood movie, you know? It's repeated over and over again. The idea that children get to decide either a boy or either a girl, if they're a girl, they don't decide that. That's you letting children play God. You don't even decide that as a parent. God makes that decision from the moment of conception your sex was already written in your DNA. And you can try and argue that, but scientifically speaking, it is literally impossible. There is no gene in your body that says that you were not how the Lord made you to be, right? He formed you in your mother's womb. Enough said. Anyways, this idea that children have the power to decide whether or not they're of one sex or the other, it's just really ridiculous. It's gotten to the point that it's almost laughable, but as at the same time, it's also sad. So my question is, who is the parent? Because as a parent, you're supposed to nurture your child. You're also supposed to guide your child, right? So I do not subscribe to this definition of new parenting or how we're or how parents are supposed to train their children. 
Charlize had this to say as well. She said that, um, I was taught by my mom that you have to speak up. You have to be able to, to know that when this life is over, you would have lived the truth you're comfortable with. There it is. The truth you're comfortable with. Everybody deciding I guess, who they are and not in terms of, oh, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a musician. I want to be, I don't know, um, uh, an esthetician or whatever. No, I want to be either a man or a woman. Like you don't get to choose that. I can say that that is one part of you that it's not your choice. All right. Um, and so the fact that it's almost, it's always my truth. Truth by definition is objective. Of course, your personal truth in terms of, well, lived experiences that I cannot argue with, right? But those should be defined accordingly. There are lived experiences, not necessarily the truth. It's a truth. So when she says that you have to, you have lived the truth you're comfortable with, it's right there, the truth you're comfortable with. So it's not necessarily the truth is just a truth that you are comfortable with and that nothing negative can come from that. Again, that's another false, um, claim. It's a false idea that just because you're comfortable with, a, with something you do ne doesn't necessarily mean that it's never, it's not bad. We know how it hurts society when people leave lawlessly, right? We know we have law and order in, in, in countries because, Society functions best when there are laws. Dwayne Wade and um, his wife, Gabrielle Union Wade. And this is what they said to Ellen during her show, which doesn't exist anymore. First of all, I just, I think it's what every, you know, every parent should be is what you're being right now, which is unconditionally loving your child and supporting you. your child in whoever they are. I mean, that's, there are so many parents that are just, oh, you're not going the way I imagined or wanted you to be and freak out. And you're so loving and supportive of Zaya. And, and what a special child she is. Yes, she is. She is. Thank you so much for that. Um, first of all, me and my wife, my wife, Gabrielle um, Union, we are, we are proud. When I say proud, we are proud parents um, of a child in the LGBTQ plus uh, community. And we're proud allies as well. Um, and we, we take our, our roles and our responsibility as parents very seriously. Um, so when our, when our child comes home with a question, when our child comes home with an issue, when our child comes home with anything, it's our job as parents to listen to that, to give them the best information that we can, the best feedback that we can. Um, and that doesn't change because sexuality is now involved in it. So once Zaya, a 12-year-old, came home, um, and first Zion, everybody, I don't know if everyone knows, originally named Zion, Zion born, um, as a boy, came home and said, hey, uh, so I want to talk to you guys. Um, you know, I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth. And I want to be uh, referenced as she and her. Uh, I would love for you guys to call me Zaya. And so internally, now is our job to, one, go out and get information, to reach out to every relationship that we have. My wife reached out to everybody on the, the uh, cast of Pose. Um, and we're just trying to figure out as much information we can to make sure that we give our child the best opportunity to be, you know, her best self. Yeah. And once Zion, once Zion came home and said, hey, I'll, you called me Zion, and I'm ready to take on this, um, I looked at it and said, you are a leader. You are a leader, and it's our opportunity to allow you to be a voice. Right now, it's through us, because she's 12 years old, but eventually, it would be through her. Right. But the interesting twist to this story, I guess the sad twist to the story is what Dwayne Wade said later, which is after their child, their son revealed that he would like to be called by a female name and go by and, and be addressed with the female pronouns. They contacted a cast of a TV show. Let that sink in for a sec. They did not contact a psychologist. They contacted a cast of a television show. This show actually made TV history with the largest cast of transgender actors. But yeah, and this is the last person on the list, but it's a long list. I chose a few to talk about. Um, Alexis Bellino, she's a cast member of the Real Housewives of Orange County. She revealed that her son, 
Miles is transgender in October of 2022. This is what she had to say in an Instagram post. My son now smiles naturally for the first time in years. My son now loves the clothes he wears. My son can breathe knowing he can be his true self. Again, we are in no position to judge people's parenting methods. And things are put forward, I guess, in the limelight. That obviously opens, right, the door for people to have their opinions and not necessarily judge, but just assess a situation and express an opinion. And on that note, I would just like to end with this. We have got to stop thinking that our idea of truth is the truth. Technology has been fantastic the last couple of years, and it's probably going to do more in the years to come. I do not doubt that. But we also have to be careful that we're not playing God. Not a lot of people believe in God. But just because you don't believe in God or you're not a Christian doesn't mean that you can negate the fact that there is a God. There is the God, the creator of the universe. He makes no mistakes. And having said that, I honestly wish these parents and their children the very best. And I hope that for the love of your child, you would talk to people who've actually studied children's psychology to, prop, to you know, accompany you in this journey. Having said that, I will see you guys all in the next video. I hope you found this interesting. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Have a good day. Bye.